And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, Bruges is a great game from Stefan Feld, one I liked a lot, especially with the card playing and manipulation. I was very excited to find out there was an expansion. I liked expansions. This is called The City on the Zwin, uh, the Bruges expansion with components for a fifth player. Okay, well, expansions almost always add an extra player, right? But what else is in here that's interesting? Let's take a look. Expansion for Bruges comes with four modules. The first is a fifth player. Hey, they're black color, and they're going to, you have like an extra board that you place underneath the other board, which gives you a spot for the other person to place their canals. And that's pretty much all that module has, although that module also demands that you add the extra cards. So if you use the fifth player, you'll need to use the extra cards. And this game comes with a pile of extra cards. Many of these cards are of the new type. They are traveler types. So you'll see here, for example, and you'll also notice that the travelers all have different names of countries, Norwegian, Dane, German, Russian, Persian, etc. And they have different abilities, like for example, here the Hungarian for each worker of a different color in your play area, you get a coin. Um, uh, here, play the next card as if it was a, a color of your choice. Here, take a card of your choice from the discard pile. Build that card as if it as a house by paying a worker of the same color as the chosen card. So there's different cards that let you basically manipulate colors, a lot of what they do. There's also uh, two new cards for each of the other types. One of them, for every type, is it lets you search your discard pile for a person of that type you get that person for free as long as you have a house open for them and you put them out for free and you can immediately use that person. And so like I said, there's one for each type and then there's a few other cards like for example, take a random card from each other player's hand, add them to your hand for each die showing a one, take one dude of the same color, etc. So there's different cards. These can be added. This is another module, the extra cards. You don't need to use those for five players. I mean, you don't need to use those and five players, except if you use five players, you need the cards, but you can use the cards with fewer players if you like. Then we have the market cards. At the beginning of each round, after players have drawn their cards, you'll turn over a market card. These scrolls will tell you how many scrolls to put on that card. So here, for example, I put five scrolls. It's either going to be five or six. Then the next players to take that action will get some sort of benefit. For example, it says the next five players perform to build a canal token may pay two less guilders when doing so. So, let's say I build a canal token, a canal, and I can just pay two less. But I take one of the scrolls off to show that it's been used once. If no one else uses it, I can do it again on my next turn. Once the scrolls are gone, it can no longer be finished. So there's all different things here. The next six players who discard a threat marker can choose the color rather than having to be the one. The next six players take one to six. Uh, Take five, ignoring the number on the die, price fixing. So there's all sorts of cards here. That is module three. The fourth module is the boats here. This is the biggest change to the game. And at the beginning of a game, when you roll dice, let's say these are the numbers I rolled. I will have a yellow one, a red three, a purple, a blue five, a, red, a brown, and a purple six over here. I'm going to have stacks of boats here. There's a stack for each color. For each three and four that I've rolled, I rolled a red three, I'll bring the red boat into this area. Let's say I also rolled a blue three, so I'd bring over one blue boat also. This affects the canal action. When a player builds a canal, so let's say uh, on my turn I decide to build a canal, so I build the canal up here in that area. I can also take one of these boat actions if I discard a worker of that type. So if I discard a blue worker, I can take this action. If I discard a red worker, I can take this action. There are six different types of actions and you will enjoy all of them. This lets you get rid of two threat tokens. This lets you move up here on the scoring track one spot for free. We also have this one here, a very powerful one, that lets you use the special ability of one of your uh, one-time use people, you can use it again. This one here gives you three of any, uh, any color workers you want. This one here gives you six 
uh, gold. And this one here, you draw a card and you can just do what, any action you want. It's kind of a random thing. Draw a card and see what happens. So that's basically what's included in the expansion. There is some extra pieces and more workers and things for because there's more players. There's also statues eight and nine that are used in a, in a five player game. And you can use all four modules or just one of them if you so desire. So when looking at these four modules, I think the one that the, uh, the market cards, flipping them over, that's an interesting thing, but it's completely not necessary. And if I never played it again, I would not be upset. At the same time, I didn't dislike it. It was okay, right? It's, you know, uh, cabin, uh, build one house. If, if, if you build a house, you do not need to pay a worker to do so. That's interesting, but if I wasn't planning to build a house, now should I build one? Should I follow this through? It was almost more of a, ooh, you decided to use that action this turn? Bonus for you, lucky you. So, eh, take or leave, probably leave. The fifth player, also probably leave. I don't mind the fifth player that much, but it certainly does slow the game down, and I like the pace of the game with four players. The um, extra cards, for the most part, good. I like having the whole new class, the Travelers in it. That, that, that's great. But I did not like those cards that let you search through the discard pile and put someone into play for free, and there's a lot of them, so they're going to show up for a couple reasons. One, they're very powerful, which is great when you get one. Hey, I'm just going to search and find the best guy. But near the end of the game, they become incredibly powerful as you can basically draw the exact guy that you need who can score you a lot of points and it's, they're not that hard to do. So drawing those feels like a woohoo, I got lucky. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, they're also very slow. Ooh, I'm gonna search the discard pile. All right, everybody, the game's just gonna come screeching to a halt as that person just goes through the discard pile, through the discard pile, through the discard pile. What card do I want? What card do I want? I don't know. If I use these extra cards, and I probably will, I'm thinking I'm going to take all those discards out and, and the ones that let you search your discards out because I just, they don't, they, they, they ruin the flow of the game and that I think is problematic. The boats, that expansion is rocking. So you bring out a boat for each three and four, they go away and then you can see what might come out. All those things are great. The, I mean, I don't know anybody who thinks the canal action is a, the most interesting action of the game. It's, to me, obviously the most boring action in the game right now. But this really livens it up. I build a canal and I get six gold. I can build a canal and use one of my one-time workers, which, by the way, that blows your mind sometimes because some of those one-time uh, cards you put out are extremely powerful, especially if they hurt other people, to be able to do it again. <laughs> very dangerous and very intriguing. Um, so I, this to me is a must. I always use this in the game, I think, because it flushes everything out. Yeah, building houses and putting guys in them is fun, but canals are fun too. Not only are they going to get you points, in fact, canals, people are going to do those first often. It's, it's a very tempting strategy to do. So overall, uh, my thoughts on the expansion are it's good. It's not essential by any means. It's not like without this expansion, Bruges is no good. No, Bruges is quite good. The fifth player, the marketplace... Uh, some of the cards, I'd say about half of it I'm using. So it's a good half, though, and the, the boats are a pretty neat addition, but I don't know. Do you want to get it? Do you need more? If you don't think you have enough variety in Bruges or you think canal building is boring, then check this out. Or you really need to add that fifth player because there's five of you and the fifth player is getting tired of watching you play Bruges, then buy the expansion. But uh, I, I might try and play it first if I could before you get it. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com.